Hi everyone, sorry for a late update. Alright, here we go. The beginning we have closed field lines and little to no induction off the bow shock. And for those who don't know, that, that red arc right here, that is what is referred to as the bow shock. <clears throat> and this is created as we're moving through space. Come on now, stop lagging. Continued interplanetary magnetic field lines that aren't Earth's. Continued closed lines, and then now see how we had our magnet lines literally compressed and entangled right here behind us at minus 60, minus 40. That's the pressure that's related to the atmospheric pressure that we keep talking about. <clears throat> Look at how Earth has reduced its closed field lines because this giant body, its magnetic field, is just that close to us, affecting everything on Earth. This is in our night sky, folks. Off to the north, north horizon. Very low, about a hand or two from the horizon. Look at that one just pop up right here. There's the oh come on. This is its moon right here. The little circles right here are the close field lines. Earth recognized it earth's magnet recognize that other magnet in space and now we have two still with the same moon with the bigger circle meaning a bigger magnet here Look at that, everyone. Stacked. Look at how far Earth had to repel its lines and push and make sure they don't crash into each other. You know, everyone's talking about pole shift. Well, this guy's very close on pushing your quote-unquote pole shift closer to happening <clears throat> there's no sun simulator either still no induction off the bow shock which means a uptick in our quakes that's a giant body behind us with its moons When I mean moons, I'm not talking about the moon that we see here cartwheeling in our night sky all the way until the early morning. These are other planets, tiny ones.
rolling with bigger ones. And this little tornadic activity map we like to refer to it as because you can see the change in arrows right here which is the wind directions look at that push at the ecliptic right here at zero this zero here <clears throat> follow that see how it's split direction right there and look at the change in polarity when I say the change in polarity I mean by this map right here this key it's a scale of heat Follow that, keep following it. Oh, there's another one here. And looks like another one here. So we have one at about minus 15, another one at minus 40, and a more bigger one at minus 60. Here is all the compression that I was mentioning earlier. <clears throat> Remember how we were talking about bow shocks? See how there's one here in the front? Here in the front. Here in the front. Same picture. Just monitoring at a different viewpoint. So we got one here. Now what's making this guy form there? This guy forming just above, uh, just below where it says uh, 5 o'clock right here in the top, top corner. What's making the one form down here between minus 5 and minus 10? Let's watch it progress here. When it picks up in color, when it goes from blue, scales of blue to yellow to red, that indicates how close they are magnetically. making all these storm systems, new storm systems, so normal. <clears throat> Here are the storm systems that I was just mentioning. Notice one's going clockwise and the other one is going counterclockwise. This has been progressing for years. And it just started off 
as a t so small that it's now compressed down to our surface. Look at all this surface action going down over the Pacific. Look, we got all this right here making its way of what just happened the past few days on the railroads. Look at this rift right here going into the Atlantic. Now one going up and the other one going down. Waters, the same thing. Notice the pressure points. We've got one there, we've got one there. A mix right here and right here. This one down here. Oh, come on, pointer. Sorry, page is acting up. Point there, point here. Point there. Look at the mix right here. get the fire map to load because we're still on fire around the globe <clears throat> Take a look back at the UV index. I'm pretty sure that's safe for everyone. Everyone's skin. When they're out <laughs> on the beaches, wherever, you know. Here's our earthquakes. Well, we switch to having more fours and fives as opposed to threes and fours. having so many of them. Let's look at all these tremors. Across the plates.
for Hawaii buzzing all day. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Well, this is happening because something grabbed our pole. The North Pole. And tilted us. Every day. Spinning all crazy. Watching everything on the ecliptic. Go from top to bottom. As we're spinning. Which now as you can see in those waters. Why all that's happening. Because not just the atmospheric compression. But liquid surge everyone. We're on a globe. We're not on your dog's food or water dish. That being said, everyone, I hope everyone stays safe. And most specifically, stays calm. Love one another. Take the time with one another. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. Love you all. Bye.